Well, here are two of uh, my six guns. Uh, one is stainless steel, the bottom, and the top is uh, nickel plated. Now the bottom one is an 18, is a, is a Ruger new Vaquero patterned after the 1873 Colt. Almost, but it's a Ruger. It's not a Colt. And it's not anything like a Colt. But uh, it's just a similar sized six gun. Now the top one is an 1872 model Colt Cologne or replica. Uh, 45 long Colt. Both of them are in 45 long Colt. But uh, the top one is uh, nickel plated. And I just wanted to show y'all. I love these two guns because they're easy to upkeep and easy to keep clean. Uh, this one is nickel plated. It has the Battle of Campeche engraved on the cylinder by Colt. Uh, as a testament to the Texas uh, uh, Republic that were the first government to uh, buy Colt firearms and use them in the battle. Uh, the Texas Navy did it uh, in the battle against Mexico. But anyway, here is an 1872 open top. Uh, it's a nice looking little pistol. Good shooting thing too. And of course the Ruger, this is a special edition. It's a uh, factory engraved. It'd be hard to focus. Let me see. As you can tell, this is not laser engraving, but it's not hand engraving. It's CNC engraving by a machine, by Baron Technologies for Ruger. Uh, so it's it's a pretty nice pistol. They're special edition. I'm trying to get it to focus, but it's fairly nice. So there we go, and it's stainless steel. Here's the other side, and the other side of this one too. There we go. It's a nice, nice uh, pistol. New Vaquero, 45 caliber. I love that engraving on it. I've got one that's coming from Italy that's going to be factory engraved. Uh, it'll be a lot more beautiful. It'll be a custom gun. Although that says 1872, I mean it's 1871, uh, they were used on 1872 firearms by Colt back in the day. Here we go. There's the patent numbers, the patent dates. But anyway, I, li I like these. They're easy to keep clean. Just wipe them down, rock and roll. Anyway, thank you and have a good day.